guess it's time for a little experiment. Um, as you can see, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi on the regular indoor channels, which are just commonly commonly used. And now I'm just rebooting the phone to trigger a reconnect of the Wi-Fi. <coughs> and let's see what happens. So. Yeah, bootloader's unlocked, I'm sure. <laughs> Should pop up, there we go. Um, yeah, certain things are just uh, remain the same, no matter what you do. So that's at least something good. <laughs> if my bootloader would appear to be locked uh, out of nowhere, that would uh, <laughs> that would seriously concern me. So, latest is Paranoid Android developer build. Here we go. And... Yeah, my WireGuard exported f um, tunnels just got compromised. And um, now we just saw this little X, not sure if it's clear in video. Um, so it connected fine. Let's see um, what else we can figure out here. So just the regular bogus. Uh, excellent. And if we go to the safe networks. Security and now it's saying nothing. Um, so that's looking a lot cleaner now. So we don't have this uh, poor connection. Uh, so what happens if I connect to the hotspot, sign into Wi Fi network? Um, and now it's reconnecting to my Wi Fi. Um, let's see what happens here. Um, looks uh, looks clean, but I already noticed this um, reconnect to network, and this is just some random troubleshooting I'm doing. I'm just trying to verify that everything is working as intended, which it isn't. You you hear the music just uh, stop playing, and um, if I just pick this Wi-Fi, which is definitely infected. Um, it's saying authenticated um, and now it, ch it says uh, check password and try again so at least you see uh, we don't get this poor information anymore but um, we are we are asked to, to check the password so um, that's something new and here we've got like definitely also something infected connect um, let's see it's and here we go here it says saved again um, just let um, as it did before and uh, if I am is claiming that the routers aren't e affected by this malware um, so the interesting part is if I if I place this over here um, and uh, try to connect via VPS let's see what happens if it's failing or not that's an interesting question so VPS initialized seems to be doing something VPS failed 6 you see and now it's connecting to something uh, which is my Wi-Fi so I'm just so to make sure that the um, that the VPS isn't broken on this phone on this ROM um, just do it again um, and hopefully this will work so um, from the Android settings it's normally not a problem but you usually just get some some overlays and I have to hurry a bit since this is uh, recording in 4k and 4k always uh, is limited to six minutes on this uh, device so what I do I just tap cancel and now it's searching for networks and they are all gone so that's that's interesting um, let's see what happens. So I, I can always create a second part and if I forget this network here um, So let's see what What happens so now we're not connected and now the VPS should work again. So push VPS Connect VPS and let's see what happens um now it should work. So if you can forget the network, 
it says VPS successful and now it's connected to yeah to uh, channel 36 so th that's interesting and I yet have to reproduce um, these uh, the issues I had with the safe networks here and um, you see uh, this is the previous configuration and it's not giving any information on these anymore so let's forget telecom phone as well and let's see what happens if it's coming with uh, coming up with some unable to connect trying to reconnect and stuff so the UPS seems to be compromised that's an interesting observation I guess and um, yeah this video wasn't by any means spectac spectacular but you want to take you down it's down the road of debugging and here yeah, getting really deep into this rabbit hole so thanks for watching have a great day talk to you soon bye